Hi, it's Karen. I'm going to be making um, a dish that I saw on Arlene's Creations um, just the other day. But I'm going to make it a little bit different, but we're going to try it and see how it tastes. It looked really good, so um, here's a shout out to you, Arlene. Um, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in cream of celery soup. It's the 98% fat free. And um, we're just going to put that right in. And oh, also you're going to preheat your oven to 375. And she put in some almond milk with this. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Um, I have almond milk, but I just, I guess I'm lazy. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> So let me just put a little bit of water in this. Maybe a fourth of a cup. Mix it up. And then we're going to add, um, I have two uh, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I cut, I slice them lengthwise so that they're thinner. They were pretty big. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I don't even know if that's gonna fit. Might not all fit. Mix it a bit. Okay. My hands are clean. Arlene used a fork, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do that um, Arlene didn't do, she used um, toast, and I'm using stove top cornbread stuffing mix. And I'm using two, or one cup, and that is four points for the whole thing. So we're gonna put that on top. Just all over. more than enough. I want to get it on the sides. And then we're going to spray a little bit of uh, butter pan on top. And then I'm going to put, she put her seasonings that she wanted to put in. I'm going to put some garlic powder, a little bit, and some onion powder, and a little bit of thyme, because I'm kind of going for more of a Thanksgiving stuffing vibe here, a little bit of thyme, and a little bit of sage. And Arlene baked hers for 40 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do with mine. Oh, and some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I'm going to cover it with foil. And bake it at 375 for 40 minutes and see if it's done. I'm going to use a thermometer to see if the chicken is cooked, and I'll let you know. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's done. It smells delicious, and I will show you what it looks like on the plate. Okay, here is the finished product. I'm going to have um, spring peas, petite peas with this. And this is only like one third of it is three points. What I have on this plate is like a point, point and a half. I mean, it's incredible. So, um, Thanks Arlene for this recipe and um, I will put a link to her um, channel if you want to get more recipes because she has some really good recipes. Thanks again. Bon appetit.